Now, Parliament has now been given 60 days to enact legislations affecting the two-thirds gender rule or face dissolution. High Court Judge John Mativo says Parliament, consisting of the National Assembly and the Senate, are guilty of failing to enact the legislations that will implement the Constitution. The verdict was read this morning at the Milimani Courts, and here is part of the ruling. Article 278 requires that the state shall take legislative and other measures to implement the principle that not more than two-thirds of the members of the elective or appointive bodies are of the same gender. The period allowed for passing the desired legislation lapsed without the legislation in question being placed. Parliament extended the period by one year, but again it failed to enact the required legislation. The extension also lapsed and that window closed. The effect is there is total failure on the part of parliament to perform a constitutional obligation. The enacting agent is necessary in parliament, with the constitution making the sole repository, which the constitution makes the sole repository of national legislative power. Whereas here, the constitution requires parliament to enact legislation to give effect to the constitutional rights guaranteed in the constitution, and the parliament face refuses or neglects to act the required legislation, as has happened in this case, then Parliament will not only have violated the Constitution, but it, it will also have violated the fundamental rights and the freedoms of the citizens guaranteed under the Constitution. Refusal to enact the required legislation amounts to denial of the fundamental rights guaranteed to the citizens. A second concern is Parliament's indispensable role in fulfilling constitutional rights. Nikopo J in the South African case of new clicks, pointed out that legislation enacted by parliament to give effect to a constitutional right ought not be ignored. The constitution, delega the constitution delegation of tasks to the legislature must be respected, and the committee between the arms of government requires respect for a cooperative partnership between the various institutions and arms tasked with fulfilling constitutional rights. The courts and the legislature act in partnership to give life to constitutional rights. The respective duties of the various partners and the associates must be valued and respected if the partnership is to thrive. Parliament's failure to enact the required legislation amounts to failure to recognize the important task confirmed on the legislature by the Constitution to respect, protect, promote, and fulfill the rights in the Bill of Rights. Among the relief sought by the petitioners is a declaration that unless the law...